a quick update that I've got my internship right here in Newcastle and that was the reason that I relocated from Glasgow and this is exactly what we are going to talk in today's video which is regarding internships and placements. So a quick background regarding the topics which I will be covering in today's video. First of all, I will be talking about my own journey for getting this internship, that what was the deadline, which month of the year was the deadline to apply for that job, then moving on to the interview stage and between the application and the interview stage, what all were the tests which I had to face and then how was my interview, what were the questions asked in front of me, how I answered that questions and what are some of the tricks and tricks to get through the interview stage and thirdly I will be talking about what was the time duration when I heard back from the company that I am finally selected and at the last I've also presented a tutorial for you guys that how you should be finding and applying for an internship for yourself and to be get selected for your internship let's get started with today's video without wasting any further time let's begin First of all, I'm studying an undergraduate degree in chemistry in the University of Strathclyde, Glasgow. It's a five-year degree program in which year fourth of the degree, you are required to undertake a placement to get some industrial experience, to get some industrial chemical knowledge. Now here, I will quickly like to differentiate between internships and placements. For the internships are done usually apart from your term time of the university. Let's say from April to September, you've got like summer vacations and during summer vacations, you can undertake like summer internships. And as far as placements are concerned, they are usually done during the term time of the university. So they are usually under your degree program and one year is required to do a placement or it can be a six month placement as well. But in my case, it's a 12 month placement. So now moving on towards my journey to get an internship right here in Newcastle. First of all, when I was in year three of my degree program, it was my final exams in the month of May when we were asked from the university that we need to prepare our draft CV and draft cover letter. So I worked from the internet resources that even our university provides some guidance that how you should be applying for that. So we all started making our draft CV and draft cover letter. So before the month of September, I made all my draft CV and I submitted to my supervisor. So if you're doing a placement which is in your degree program, the university will be assigning you to a supervisor who will be taking an in charge for your full internship program. That which all companies you're applying to, how is your CV, how is your cover letter, how your interview should be and what's the time frame when you will be hearing back and everything is uh, taken in charge by that supervisor. So okay, so I submitted my draft CV and draft cover letter to my supervisor he gave me feedback just you need to improve all these things and uh, even like uh, some of the formatting of the cv was done by him and uh, finally in the month of september i was all ready to apply for the internships the very first thing in terms of applying for a placement or internship is that please make sure that which companies you're interested to in applying for. So in my case i was interested in three companies in chemical industry which i wanted to apply for. And secondly, I would here let you know about the deadline in that particular year when the most of the companies have got their deadline. So that's a period between September to December when most of the companies have got their deadline. And this deadline is for the next year. For example, in 2022, you have to do your placement in the month of, let's say, July. So you should be applying for the placement or internship before that year. That's in the month of September and December. I hope this makes sense a little bit. So now here I will be explaining you about my journey to get this job in the company which I'm working right now. In terms of application process, firstly they required us to submit a CV and a cover letter. Once you have submitted your CV and cover letter, we were assigned an online test which we had to undertake. The online test was, I really can't remember it, but it could be between one hour to two hours where you have to sit in front of your computer and you have to do that assessment. The assessment involves some situation judgmental test and I will definitely recommend you to be searching for this online and practicing it beforehand before doing that assessment because they, uh, they can be a bit of challenging if you're doing it for the very first time. 
and secondly we were required to do a visual perception test that was a really really tricky part in which they will be showing you some kinds of balls which are disappearing after a few seconds and you have to really count that how many number of balls you saw uh, in total of that time frame so and you have to answer that questions and it was and it's really really tricky and your mind drains a lot in that particular assessment so that was how it was the initial application process i did that test i, did, I sent my cover letter my cv and i finally heard and this was in the month of september so i think it was 25th of september when i did it and i heard back from them on 10th of october through an email that okay jashan they're saying you have been selected to come for an interview so here i was lucky that the company itself the people itself came to my university to take my interview because some of the universities have got some tie up with the companies for example university of strathclyde has got some of the tie up with few com chemical companies so they will be coming to the university and taking all our interviews so i was lucky for that i didn't have to go to the company's headquarters to give my interview so the interview lasted for one hour it was from nine to ten o'clock as far i am concerned and uh, now the interviews can be of two types so you have to do a bit of background research regarding the company you want to apply for the interview can be all technical based we are just asking you technical questions regarding chemistry okay tell me which kind of spectroscope you will be using in this what kind of how you will be judging the calcium ions and magnesium ion concentration and other companies can just ask your about your own self for example my own experiences in my life that uh, how i grew up like what were all my unique experiences all these experiences they will be judging in terms of peak performance factors now peak performance factors is is a lot much different criteria uh, uh, some companies are just looking for some technical questions some are looking for the speed performance so this differ from company to company and i recommend you doing a research in this and for the company which i was uh, which i had applied they were just looking for the peak performance factors and not the technical questions but however at the end of the interview they just posed one chemical question in front of me which i answered very very correctly so my interview was finished at 10 o'clock and after that i know that i was really really worried and anxious that what will be the outcome of my interview so i was waiting and after one hour after one hour the interviewer uh, herself emailed me that okay jashan you have been selected and just wait for a couple of days that the company will itself send you the offer letter and that was how quick it was for me that within one hour i heard back from the company and within two days i got the official letter okay this is your terms and conditions for the offer and i just accepted them and that is how i ended up for this internship so i hope you have got a bit of idea that what is the time duration what how was the interview what kind of questions it is and what was the application initial starting process so now you have heard about my own journey and how i applied or moving on towards the live tutorial which I wanted to give that how you should be funding and how you should be applying for internship for yourself to get a successful internship for you. Let's go for it. Finally, for this tutorial, the website which we will be taking is known as Grad Cracker. All you need to do is type it in your Google search engine. And secondly, you have to filter out which subject you want to look the internship for. Let's say for example you can see uh, this like for physics, this like for chemistry, let's say in our case we want for chemistry. So once we have written chemistry, don't just leave it there because you can get like a grad cracker, chemistry jobs or placements or some of them are like graduate jobs. So what you are specifically looking for, filter that right here. So just write here internships and click on that and on the very first line click on that on the google and you will be on the page for your internships for chemistry now the very first thing to notice is here you can see there are like 17 employers who are looking for to hire the students and there are 85 different opportunities available present now you can also sort your results by deadline for example the deadlines which are just coming uh, you can sort accordingly and for the grades and the date posted as well then moving on secondly towards the left you can see a window where you can find your subject of interest for example if it isn't chemistry you can click on energy like this so it will just bring you to a new search page so for our case let's say it is chemistry just be applying for a chemistry internship just scroll down here are the companies for example it's png 
then his PepsiCo, then his laboratory technician industrial placement. Let's say I'm interested in the PepsiCo one and I click, I'm clicking the R&D food safety industrial placement. Once you've clicked it, the most important thing to look is on the right hand side, which is the opportunity overview. So you can see that uh, if, you, if you just uh, have criteria for selecting a special salary for yourself, go for it and secondly the most important thing is the grades a lot of the companies have got a specification of the grades above two ratio one for the degree or they want a first class degree but for this placement you can see that they are accepting all grades so this is a very good opportunity to apply for then secondly you can also filter your location for example uh, my location is Glasgow and I don't want to move outside of Glasgow for my internship or placement so I won't be applying for this particular placement because it is in Leicester so I have to relocate so but uh, what I will be recommending you is for your internships or placements make sure to keep your options open as much as possible once you have done this, the most important thing to look is for the eligibility. That what is the company looking for? Just scroll down, there will be like eligibility criteria or requirement criteria or in this case, what are we looking for? What is the company looking for? So they're looking for like an undergraduate student. So this is the very first condition that you have to be an undergraduate student who is studying a degree in food science or technology. So now for example, if you're a master's student and then looking for an internship or placement, this is not the right place where you should be and you should completely look for an, another option. Just don't waste your time just applying for this particular job. And after that, just down here, you can just check the duration for this placement. So it starts in July 2021. So make sure you are available for that time period that you don't have any holidays arranged or something like that. So that was a very quick tutorial regarding that how you should be finding a placement and for the application procedure I already explained to you before. At last once you are all happy with this job vacancy just click on apply online now and you can start and you can start your online application procedure. Thank you. As we have approached towards the end of today's video, I really hope this video was informative for you guys and thanks for watching and keep supporting the channel as you always do. Cheers.